Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in Philippines. Well, look at this. I got my big ass chicken into boil up. So what I want to do is make a nice chicken stock. And what am I going to do with that chicken stock? Well, that's for tomorrow and that's for New Year's Eve. She asked me if I could cook her up a yummy, yummy, dummy, dummy. She said, can you cook me up a, um, a pork roast dance? So what we did, we went to uh, Casano Mall and I asked him for a pork belly with the ribs on. So he brought out the complete side and me being a butcher that I am, I said to him, right, this is what I want. I want this cut down here, this cut down here, this cut down here and I want two slabs. So look at that guys, look at that. So I come home, back packed it all down and this is going to be a roast tomorrow. So we're going to do it the Gordon Ramsay way. And, um, if you don't know what that is, have a look at Gordon Ramsay's. Gordon Ramsay's uh, roast crispy pork belly. It's done very, very nice. But to do that, I need some um, chicken stock. So I'm going to make up my own chicken stock that's in here. Now, tonight's Friday night, which is Friday night pizza night. So I've got to get some chicken breasts cooked up. Now, look at the size of these. These are smaller than my hand. I said, Chick, what the hell's going on? She goes, well, I asked them what happened and they said they got a new supplier. So what I'll do, is I'll wrap these up in uh, pepper, salt and butter and um, wrap them in foil and bake them in the oven. So that's gone in here now. This will go into here. So that's done. And um, then tonight, when we come back from Granny's place, I'll be able to do my beautiful barbecue, Christopher Beecham's barbecue sauce with roast chicken sandwich. Puff and that, we're off to Granny's house, and we've got lots to do, lots to do. She's been baking brownies last night for her aunties as well. She's been doing that. She's made up all the um, uh, Vietnamese Vietnamese chicken. So I'll be back here till later, guys. Got heaps to do. Right, time check, 7.15. Okay, so my chicken's been boiled for 45 minutes. Now we're just going to sit here and just let him chill out. And I've got all that beautiful stock to go with my pork belly roast up tomorrow so this can sit there this is the same one as that um Stu taught me for the um chicken pull apart pies the chicken pies like don't add anything to it just put water into it and just taste the loving this is the roast ones they're done they're fully cooked now they come up to temperature they're up to uh, 175 so that is good yummy so they will chill out so now it's time to go and good morning good morning i good day. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ta da. Bye. Bye. Right, so now it's time to go and get the goats done. So I said it's non stop day today because of um, going to Granny's. So I was, when I come back from doing the goats, then I've got to make up all the um, pizza doughs and get all that done. Then I've got to grind up some corn. Ah, FMD, guys. FMD. It's always full on on the Aussie farm in the Philippines. And I like these fat, failing farmers of Bahal who don't wake up until 10 o'clock. Well, we don't go to bed till late, so we don't get up until 10 o'clock. Boy, that way all the old girls have done all the gardening and got most of the work done so I can come out and film it. Oh, you're so bad, William. Right, so everything is going good. I've got two turkeys in the sick bay at the moment. I'll just put this one down here. Ugh. Okay, come on, girlfriend. So Big Red broke a leg off his um, feeder, so I have to fix that up. All right, where's my girlfriend? Where are you? Oh, that's charming. Drop a big drop down on me as I come in the door. Okay. All right. Oh, she's out already. She's out already. This one has got a bad eye. So I've been pumping antibiotics into her. And she's the one I have to pick up every night and put her up on the perch. She'll sit over here on this perch with Big Red. So every night I'll pick her up and drop her up here. And uh, of a morning, I've got to pick her up and drop her down. But today's the first morning she's come down and done it. So that's good, that's okay. So that's done, I've got um, that crazy mumba chicken and the nine babies. She fucking attacks me every time I open up the door for her. It's only a little thing. She's fucking psycho. And uh, Bob will remember this one. He said it walks like a vulture. So antibiotics into that one, he's coming along good now. And uh, this one here as well. So um, it's got the pox. So everything is going bloody good on the Aussie farm in the Philippines. So let's head up over here. 
So while I've been inside, I've got all the dishes done from last night. She can't, she can't do dishes because of her hands. It's hereditary in her family, actually. Even her auntie Jen and his wife's got it as well. Where um, the, the, the fingernail, well, your fingers just go absolute. And it's like her, it's like she just wants to cut her fingers off some days. It's always rubbing cream on it, putting band-aids on. and So to help her out is don't touch the dishes, does. Don't touch nothing. And I always during the day, when I always not here, then I'll do it. So uh, that's working out okay. So how's Chick not tying going? Oh, Dales, you're wonderful, Dales. So Chick's, Chick's learning my firefight of knots. And the secrets of a knot is, should be easy to do, and easy, easy to make, and easy to undo. That's what it should be. I wish we going to milk Lottie. Oh, uh, we'll check, check her titties out. Okay. So Lottie is the second one. She, we didn't get much milk out of her yesterday. And um, so we just said, oh, well, maybe we don't have to milk her tomorrow. So we'll go and check. All right, let's go and get our girlfriends out, feed together, and our girlfriends together. All right, so she just runs down now and just jumps straight up, throws her head in. She's straight in it. She does. Oh. Right, let's see how much milk we get out of her. We'll be getting three full bottles out of her at the moment. So it's quite good. We don't milk them of an afternoon. Well, she's not that tight today, does We no. don't milk them of an afternoon. We only milk them of a morning. So um, we'll see how we go. All right, let me put this down and get some work done. Right, so that's one down. So we've got um, three big bottles full plus some left over inside. So she went very, very well. She's a good milker, that one. So now we're going on to contestant number two. Come on down. Yeah, and she's just, she's learning to come along with um, your assistance and jumping up and sticking in before you have to drag her up onto here. But now she actually just walks in, jumps up and sticks her head through. So she's coming there, baby. Yeah. All right, let's get her done and move on. All right, there goes contestant number two. So we don't get much out of her. So we got about half a liter out of her. So that's still quite good. So she's got all the leaves now with her young'un and she can stay there. Right, time to go and make some pizza base. Like I said, it's a busy day today, guys. We don't stop on the Aussie farm. All right, guys, so breakfast is finished. Making up the pizza doughs now. So this will be for our pizza tonight. Yesterday, Yesterday I made up all the barbecue sauce. Voila, look at that bitch. Absolutely gorgeous, darling. And the best thing about this, the longer you keep it, the better it tastes. So I've let this cooked up yesterday and I just let it cool right down. This will go into airtight containers and uh, that will go nice for our barbecue pizzas. Absolutely gorgeous, seriously. And I like that better than tomato sauce. Right, so I'll get this done. I've got to go out and crack some corn. Told you busy days on the Aussie farm, Right, so that's the pizza base is done, finished. They can sit there and rise, lovely, till we come back home. Then I can beat the shit out of them again, you know. Oh, back out to the corn, let's go. Right, well, I've got enough done for the next couple of days on the corn grinding, so it'll have to do, it's like, yuck. Time for shower and change. So, this is enough for Chick Chick. Uh, so this will keep it going for about four days. But um, just enough to laugh at the new year. After all the hangovers are all over because every day is party day on the farm at Christmas. Every day is party day. So after the new year, then that's it. We've got to say the parties are over and get back to work again. Too much to do, as we say. So that's it from us now. So I'm going to sign off now. And let's head to um, shower change, get all the food done, and head to Granny's place. Let's do it.